What up, what up? Daily Fire, episode four, the business of your life. Listen to me, the business of your life. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. If you've never taken a pre to the dome on our pre-workout for Max Effort Muscle, you better, you better ask somebody. It's legit. Check that out at MaxEffortMuscle.com. And you are listening to the Business and Biceps Network. Once again, if you think it's trash, turn it off. If it gives you value, share it out for me. I appreciate y'all. All All right, so I'm going to paint a picture. When I talk about the business of your life, let me paint a picture for you of what you don't want that will not lead to success. And maybe I'm talking to you. Maybe you're going to get checked right now. Or maybe you have a lot of things in line and just a couple things hit a little nerve real quick. And you're like, man, if I take care of those, shit could really roll for me. Because I think people think about business, right? And they think, oh, I got to get this money. I got to grow this business. I got to do these things. But so much other shit's in fucking chaos, they don't handle it. So it's really hard for them to actually have the success that really their skill set can achieve. So I'm going to paint a picture for you real quick. Let's say this. Let's say you come home from work or from building your business or whatever. Instantly when you walk in your house, you got drama. Instantly. Somebody's cousin's doing this or your girl's mad about this or the guy's mad about that. They hit you right in the face with drama. Not only that, you've been on Facebook and you're worried about, this person over here like they got something I want or they there's an envy that's happening because you ain't there yet or you're on social media just commenting on people's shit just beefing with them for no reason like what the fuck do you care if Beyonce wore this type of fucking outfit yesterday or who cares if so-and-so had this lyric on this song you think you got to get in some type of argument with somebody and be a keyboard warrior what do you think that sucks from the positivity that you're doing let's say you just let motherfuckers lean on you all the time because they're not really about anything in their life, but they're just leaning on you all heavy. Well, guess what? You you got to piggyback ride somebody all the time or multiple people. That shit fucking weighs you down. Let's think about the financial pressure. You have a bunch of liabilities. You weren't about your money. You got the pressure. You're in the hamster wheel to try to make these payments. You've overextended yourself. And it's just not that your time is getting used properly to actually make something happen. So all that picture I just painted, if that's happening in your life, how the fuck are you going to be a positive person and build a business? It's damn near impossible. So look, are you going to get all of these things out of your life? No, but you should be the CEO, the president, the motherfucking captain of the ship, whatever you got to be of your own life first. Because I've always said, if you have extra drama, motherfuckers pulling on you and all this shit going on all the time, it's fucking impossible to then have a clear, creative head in your own business, your, you know, just your pursuit of happiness and the things that you want to do. It's literally impossible. So you have to look at these things and you got to say, what? Boom. I need to knock that out. Boom, I need to move like a ninja. You can't just get at me. You can't. You ain't going to be able to lean on me. I'm not going to answer this phone call. I'm just going to say, fuck this person. I, hey, the other thing is a lot of people don't like their work environment. They don't like the people they work with. You might be stuck there for a second, but make a move out of it. So I, I think that you have to really look at what in my life am I not in control of or I could be in control of that I'm not handling that is hindering my success. Because what it's doing is, I'm just putting fucking ankle weights on you. Every time I've said something that has hit a nerve, put another 10-pound ankle weight on. Put another 10-pound. Let's put one on your wrist. Let's put a motherfucker on your neck. So if I throw a 10-pound ankle weight on your neck, both wrists, and your fucking legs, how are you going to move upward? You think you're going to fucking dunk on an 8-foot rim? Probably ain't going to. So how the hell are you going to do the fucking NBA All-Star game? How are you going to try to attack Vince Carter? How are you going to win? It's fucking impossible. So it might not be your skill set. It might not be your work ethic. You might be a fucking animal. But those things that I have mentioned could be exactly what's holding you back. I'm telling you, I've seen so many, so many talented, good quality people that never handled this stuff that were better than me at their skill, at their body, their strength, their business, whatever it is. But this shit took them down time and time and time again. That's why you'll hear me say all the time, I'm allergic to drama. 
I move like a ninja. If I don't fuck with motherfuckers that ain't about it. Like you got to draw a hard line. Look, family and support is a different ball game, but you still got to have that line in the sand where if motherfuckers are leaning on you, you got to just crush it. So I urge you guys that if you feel like your success is hindered right now, please fucking listen to me and think to yourself, some of these things or a version of these things that G just said, is this what's holding me back? Or there's the extra one, the stuff that you dealt with as a kid, the stuff that you dealt with as an adult, the relationships, whatever, maybe you need to like talk to somebody, work on something and, and, and work on the mental health to break you through. However you do it, meditation, positive reinforcement, talk to your friend, whatever. Look to yourself and start to look, do I need to cross this off? Do I need to cross that off? Do I need, like, like a real business. Because if your business wasn't operating right, you would look in the operations, you would look at the marketing, you would look at the motivation, you would look at the creativity, you would look at all these things. Look at these things in your own fucking household, in your own bag. Like this is, I'm telling you, so valuable that I have continued to fucking cross motherfuckers off, stiff arm people, not answer calls, and just make things happen. Because at the end of the day, you are in charge of you. So the only person that you have default if your success isn't there isn't anyone else. But these people in these situations will suck the fucking life out of you. And if you're one of these people that you believe you have the talent, you believe you have the work ethic, and you believe in yourself, get these things out of your life. All right, Daily Fire, episode four, the business of your life. Brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. You're listening to the Business and Biceps Network. Once again... If you think it's trash, turn it off. If you think it's got some value, though, share it with your friends. Appreciate y'all. Peace.